What is up, guys? It's Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com. Back again. Yes, today we're going to take a look at a prototype watch from a new watch company. Before we jump into this guy, though, guys, guy, though, guys, I don't, you know, I sit here and watch my videos, and I don't get why I say some of the things that I say over and over and over again. Things like subscribe down there in the right hand corner of the screen hit that subscribe button ding that bell I say that over and over again guys do you know why it's because like six percent of you that actually watch my videos are actually subscribed just imagine if those other 40 40 I can't even do math other 94 percent of the people watching my videos were subscribed they would get notified when I dropped a new video and they would not have to worry about going to search for it just seems like common sense, guys. Subscribe button down in the right-hand corner. Do it. Don't do it. Whatever makes you happy. But do it. Guys, we're taking a look today at a watch from a fellow YouTuber. Ivan over at Watch Me Unboxing has racked his brain, worked with some friends, and come up with a really, really, really cool watch design that I'm going to share with you guys. Now, when I first met Ivan, this was probably back in, I'm going to say like 2017, maybe late 2017, 2018. I don't remember exactly when it was, but it was a while ago. It was a couple of years ago, a year or so ago. Both he and I were doing unboxing videos for a certain watch subscription service uh, that I used to do a lot of unboxing videos for. And I came across one of his videos one day and just started watching it. And from that point forward, it, you know, I just started to have some banter with him. You know, there's a lot of these YouTube reviewers like myself out there that we don't really give a shit what anybody else is doing on their channel from a competition standpoint. It's not about competition. It's about helping each other grow. So you guys, a lot of times will see me work with Wade over at Watchin. I've, I've interacted a lot with Ivan over at his channel and a lot of others, you know, Aaron over at OFD watch channel. Um, just a lot of different YouTubers out there believe in the fact that we can support each other and we're not necessarily in competition with each other. And that is one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of Ivan and what he's done is right out of the gate, being a new YouTuber, he wasn't very standoffish. He wasn't very, um, you know, stay away from me. You know, you're my competition. Don't freaking talk to me like some of these YouTubers will be. And so he and I kind of hit it off right out of the gate. I'm telling you all this because as I've watched Ivan grow, as I've watched his channel grow, as I've watched him grow in the watch community, it's allowed me to step back and be like, you know, damn, this guy is busting his ass. This guy is out there and he is totally hustling to get what he wants. I didn't know what he wanted at the time, but I knew he wanted something because he was busting his ass. I saw him working with all sorts of different watch companies, all sorts of different watch services, trying to promote, trying to help out the industry, trying to help out different brands. And I was like, this guy's working hard for something. Well, guys, I figured out what he's working out hard for. It's his Hampton Bay from Iconic Timepieces, his own watch company. This was a dream that he had that just through sheer will and determination, he was able to create and now has a prototype watch. So that's what we're gonna take a look at with you guys. Um, the Hampton Bay prototype from Iconic Timepieces. Guys, let's jump into this Hampton Bay and see what it's all about. So when Ivan sent me this prototype of the Hampton Bay from Iconic Timepieces, he sent it in this watch pod. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen these watch pods before, but these things are great for shipping. Um, also, when you're traveling, just to throw a watch in, they're just a hard canvas with some styrofoam. I'll post up some links in the description section below uh, where you guys can find these. Um, I am not sure if this is what the actual watch will be shipping with. I believe he just used this to ship it to me. Um, but uh, 
love these, love these, love these things. So if we open this guy up and take a look at this prototype, this is a prototype of the Hampton Bay from Iconic Timepieces. Now, first thing right off the bat that I notice is that blue, there's not a whole lot of companies out there that are using that Pantone version or that color of blue that I've seen. And I think it's just a really, really neat shade. Um, a lot of the other uh, models that he has, uh, the coloring he uses is just, it's different from what's all over the market right now. And I love that. Second thing I absolutely love and probably one of my favorite things about this watch is those indices that he selected. For me, guys, I love a sharp, sharp, sharp design and those applied indices with that really, really razor sharp edge and the hands on this prototype being razor sharp, I think are really, really cool. Now, one thing I will point out, and I'll go over the whole list of changes that'll go, that Ivan's going to do based on what he learned with this prototype. But the one thing I will point out real quick right here is those hands just to improve some readability. He has upped the size of those hands a little bit um, in the production version, so it'll be a little bit easier to read. But it's my understanding that that second hand with that counterweighted iconic timepieces logo is going to stick. And I think that's uh, it's a really neat addition to this watch that uh, I really, really appreciate. Now, one thing you'll notice is this is a full stainless steel case, roughly 43 millimeters in diameter and about 13 millimeters in case thickness. And you can see uh, that's a good look at that brushed case on the side of this Hampton Bay. Now, another design feature that he went with that I hadn't really seen before until I actually went and started to go looking for watches with it is how he jets out the lugs on this. I love how he jets out the lugs. Um, and I was able to find another another watch that did something similar, not as sharp and not as well done as I think he did in this Hampton Bay, but the Belova, I'm sorry, the Accutron Amerigo line uh, has jetted out lugs like that also. And I think they, uh, I think they both look pretty good, but I love the angles on this Hampton Bay definitely a lot more. Now, if we tilt this guy a little bit, you can see kind of the, the reflection there. But if we tilt this guy, that is a flat sapphire crystal with AR coating. Gives us a nice scratch resistant dial, nice scratch resistant crystal on the front of this watch. This watch is going to be able to take a beating with that 316L stainless steel and that sapphire crystal. I don't have too much of a concern about the build quality of this guy because the heft on this um, with those solid links in this bracelet. One thing I will point out is this is the bracelet that the prototype came on. I actually like this bracelet, but Ivan right there, haha, I just noticed, pretty sneaky. Ivan's got the iconic timepieces logo right there on the clasp. He, I did talk to him and he, he is going to be going with a different bracelet design uh, for the production ver the version of this watch, something that's going to give a little bit more taper that he was looking for. He's going to go with more of a Grand Seiko style bracelet, uh, tapering at 22 millimeters at the log all the way down to about 18 millimeters at the clasp. So I'll be interested in seeing what that guy looks like uh, once those once those are released. As I mentioned, this is the Swiss Salita SW200-1 automatic movement in it. Rock solid movement. I'm glad he decided to go with that over, like for instance, the NH35 automatic movement that everybody uses. Really, really solid choice in movements in this watch. Now, as we're zoomed in here, one of the things that I will point out that uh, he is going to change, and actually, you know what, let's go through everything he's looking to change based on these prototypes that he learned. Um, that iconic timepieces logo uh, right there at that 12 o'clock position, he's currently on the prototypes that's printed and it's a little bit offset from that 12 o'clock position. So one of the things he's doing in the prototypes is that's actually going to be an applied logo 
in stainless steel and that's going to be perfectly centered right under that 12 o'clock. I think that'll make this dial pop as well. Um, the other thing he's going to be doing on this dial is changing the lettering under Hampton Bay. Now currently this prototype has C3 loom on it. Now incidentally that is a full loomed be bezel with C3 as well. Um, he wasn't a huge fan when he saw the prototypes of the loom so he's actually swapping it out with the BGW9 loom for these guys in the production models. If you're curious to see how you can pick up one of these iconic timepieces Hampton Bay automatic divers these guys are actually going on pre-order March 1st through April 15th of 2020. So coming up, guys, these guys are going to be going on pre-order. Now, the pricing structure on these is pretty interesting. For the first 75 units, you're going to be able to pick one of these guys up for 450 bucks. So 450 bucks for the first 75 units sold. Second 75 units, about $480 with a final retail price of $675 with that Swiss Salita SW200-1 automatic movement. Now the full kit on this guy is going to include the Hampton Bay in your color choice, color matched nylon NATO strap, link tools, leather or zip up travel case, and instructions in the warranty card. So pretty much everything you get with a typical watch and then some with that inclusion of that extra nylon NATO strap. I can't even talk right now. One thing that I will point out, and I'm definitely gonna post up a link in the description to this below, is Ivan is running a pre-order giveaway on these Hampton Bays. So if you guys want a chance to win one of these watches for absolutely free, you can visit awesome.watch slash iconic awesome.watch slash iconic and that will take you to the information directly about how to win one of these watches on a pre-order giveaway that he is doing on social media all in all guys this watch is absolutely ridiculous i am in love with this thing i love that blue love those indices love that jetted out lug Great, great, great job on this guy, Ivan. I am severely impressed. As I mentioned in the in the beginning of the video, I am so impressed with what Ivan has been able to do since he started. Um, <laughs> as I mentioned, I I was like, oh Jesus, just another freaking YouTuber. But to see this guy blossom, to see this guy, how he busts his butt. Um, He's, he's a mover and a shaker. He is definitely a hustler. He's going to get out there and do what he needs to do to accomplish his goals. And that is what he has done with this iconic timepieces, Hampton Bay. Ivan, you have a lot to be proud of. You've busted your ass and, you know, it's finally coming together for you. And I'm so, so happy to see that uh, for a fellow YouTuber, somebody that uh, I've talked with quite a bit in the past so so proud of you man great job keep it up never stop the hustle never stop never stop hustling man i mean that's that's what's what's helping you win this game man so i'm proud of you for that one definitely definitely keep it up guys i am gonna get out of here i cannot say you're gonna be able to see this watch on my wrist on instagram um, because this prototype actually has to go over to another one of my buddies, Wade, over at Watchin, at his channel. Uh, this watch is actually going on a little bit of a road trip. It's going to go over to him to take a look at as well. So definitely check out his video when it comes out. Wade does a great job picking up all the bits and pieces that I definitely missed. And... Uh, he has great, great delivery. Also, don't forget to check out Wade's car channel if you're into restoring classic cars. Wade's got a great car channel also. These guys, I love watching these guys work. Um, you know, as I've mentioned, guys, I've, I've had to take a little bit of a break, and it's just, it's so impressive to see what some of these guys have done in my absence and, and just taking things to another level, especially with uh, Ivan and this Hampton Bay. All right, guys, I am going to get out of here. Have a great holiday. Have a great New Year's, and we will see you soon. Thanks, guys.